talk to me about a little bit about your relationship with the Lord. In other words, I know it's a private matter, but how, how did you come to the Lord? You talk about, you've talked about salvation before in Jesus Christ. What, what was that like for you, maybe back in the day, in terms of how you kind of processed uh, it? It's, it's funny. It wasn't like uh, that I can tell you there was one explicit second. Um, I was raised in a Lutheran church, and it's a little bit different approach, uh, but I remember that the most important uh, event for me in my religious life was when we make a decision to go through catechism and become confirmed into the church. Uh, it was a big event for the family, and, uh, and that was very clear. In the, in the early years when I was in high school, uh, you know, I went to several of the rallies with Billy Graham, and that had an effect on me, too. Matter of fact, I was listening to one of his sermons the other day, and it brought back memories of having listened to him, and he brought, uh, uh, he brought up the subject of being born again. And I thought, well, I must have been listening to him back then because he says it's, it's different. He acknowledged it's different for different people. Sometimes it's an instantaneous event, and sometimes it's different. And he wasn't, uh, you know, he described his understanding, but he was very open to an understanding of different people. And I thought, well, you know, maybe I listened to him as a teenager, making it so that, uh, you know, we don't have to all say uh, exactly how we have arrived at this point to accept uh, Jesus as our Savior.